So now moving on to question number four. If mod x is less than one, mod y is less than one, x and y are distinct, then the sum to infinity of the following series. Can you see some beauty in the series? Yes. We can clearly visualize if we multiply this term by x minus y, it becomes x square minus y square, it becomes x cube minus y cube, x4 minus y4. Question is solved. So let's begin this question. Simple one. Here we can see just multiply and divide by x minus y. So it changes to x square minus y square plus x cube minus y cube plus x4 minus y4 plus and so on till infinity. So what is this? This is 1 upon x minus y multiplied with. We have two infinite GPs. Some can be obtained as modulus of x modulus of y it is less than 1. So we have x square upon 1 minus x minus y square upon 1 minus y. Correct? Just simplify to see what is the result. So this is equal to 1 upon x minus y, 1 minus x, 1 minus y in denominator here. Now numerator becomes x square minus x square y. So we can write here x square minus x square y minus y square plus x y square. We can see if we take this x square minus y square together and these two terms together, so we can factorize further. So this is equal to x square minus y square minus x y into x minus y divided by x minus y 1 minus x 1 minus y. So what's the result here? Yes, it is x plus y minus x y divided by 1 minus x into 1 minus y. I'm sure this is clear. Now time to check the options. x plus y minus x y upon 1 minus x 1 minus y. This is given here as option number 2. So let's mark and write down that this is the right choice. Let's consider another one that is question number 5. Let S be the set of all lambda for which the system of linear equations has no solution. Right? Option 1, we can find the determinant for this coefficient part. We can get the values for lambda from there. Check back whether we are getting some solution or it becomes inconsistent. Option 2, we can go with the concept of augmented matrix. Let's write down what we are talking about. When you go with the matrix system AX equals B, so you write here 2 minus 1, 2. From the next one, it is 1 minus 2 lambda and 1 lambda 1. Then you have X, Y, Z. And here you have as the last column 2 minus 4, 4. Correct. When you expand, simplify this coefficient matrix, if you go with determinant A equals 0, what you are getting? Just simplify. This is 2 into minus 2 minus lambda square plus 1 multiplied with 1 minus lambda plus 2 multiplied with lambda plus 2 is equal to 0. I'm sure this is clear. Simplify to get the values for lambda. This is 2 lambda square minus lambda minus 1 equals 0. Just simplify, factorize to get the values for lambda as 1 and minus half. Correct. Now when you put back this 1 and minus half, you observe that in either case, whether you go with first column replaced, second column replaced, third column replaced, it is not going to get you a solution. So yes, both values are acceptable. Optional method, you can go with the augmented matrix. That means using this first row, you can make these two zeros. Once you convert these two into zeros, how you are going to operate? You will be saying R2 replaced with R2 minus half R1. R3 replaced by R3 
minus half r1 whatever you apply here you also apply on this side and that gives you direct answer so that's going to be a better choice right so yes let's write down from the given options when this has no solution it contains exactly two elements so i'm sure this question is also clear this is option number four let's move on to the next question the domain of the function given by sine inverse of mod x plus 5 upon x square plus 1 is given, then what is A? Sine inverse of something, when it will be defined? When the something is between minus 1 and 1? So yes, when you talk about its solution, what you need to say? You need to say that minus 1 less than equal to mod x plus 5 upon x square plus 1 less than equal to 1. Clearly, this quantity is always greater than 0, right? So, this is not required. What we need to solve? This is less than equal to 1, that's all. So, just try to simplify this less than equal to 1. Simplifying, you get x square minus mod x minus 4 greater than equal to 0. This is clear. Now, solve this inequality for modulus function itself. When you try to get the values just using the quadratic, right? What roots you are getting? Just check out 1 plus minus root 17 upon 2. These are the roots, right? So when you factorize, you will be writing mod x minus of 1 plus root 17 upon 2 multiplied with mod x minus of 1 minus root 17 upon 2 greater than equal to 0. This quantity is clearly positive. So we have this must be greater than equal to 0. So what is the result? Either x is less than equal to minus of 1 plus root 17 upon 2 or x is greater than equal to 1 plus root 17 upon 2. So, this is the final possible answer. Let's check out what the question is talking about. It is given, it is minus infinity to minus a union a to infinity. So, what is a? 1 plus root 17 upon 2. That is correct answer is option number 1. So, I am sure this simple question is also clear, which involved function, right? Let's consider another question. Let P be a point on the curve. This is clearly a parabola. Nearest to the line y equals 3x minus 3. Then the equation of the normal to the curve at P is. Correct? When you talk about this parabola, you can say that this parabola is actually opening upward. Without marking, say, coordinate system, we can draw a rough parabola over there. Next. A line is given, again without marking coordinate system, let's say this is the line given to me, right? Now what they are saying, P be a point on this curve nearest to this line means what we need? We need this perpendicular normal, right? Here what we will be saying, we will be saying that it is normal over here, correct? So, what's the conclusion over here? Yes, the clear conclusion is that the tangent at this point is parallel to the given line. When the tangent is parallel, so the slope for this tangent will be 3. Can we find the slope for tangent using the differentiation? Yes. So, let's go for this question. When you differentiate dy by dx is 2x plus 7, saying this is equal to slope 3 you get the value for x as minus 2. Put the value of x here as minus 2. So this is 4 plus 2 minus 14, that is minus 8. So y is minus 8. So this point is obtained as minus 2 minus 8. What is required now? Normal, right? We are looking for equation of normal at minus 2 comma minus 8. Therefore, normal at minus 2 minus 8 is let's plan out y plus 8 is equal to minus 1 by 3 
x plus 2. Slope is clear? Right. Just simplify. This gives you x plus 3y, taking it on the left side. This is plus 24, minus 2 goes to this side, making it plus 26 is equal to 0. So, x plus 3y plus 26 equals 0. That is option number 4 is the correct answer for this question, which we solved with the help of AOD, also can be considered in conic section. Let's move on to another one. 